Six people still unaccounted for at least after the collapse of Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge. The Associated Press is reporting that they were members of a construction crew and they are presumed to be dead. Eight people total, we believe, were on that bridge. Two were saved this morning. So the crew on the ship had issued a May Day call before it hit the bridge, which authorities say gave them time to get as many people off the bridge as possible. And then the ship hit one of the bridge's supports and then it tumbled into the water in a matter of seconds. So the situation in Baltimore obviously prompting us to ask the question, could something like this ever happen here? I'm sure you were thinking it. We all were. Mm -hmm. Mike Shell, the same thing. You're live with the answer. What do you think, Mike? Well, Tricia, the short answer to that question is it's highly unlikely. Uh, according to a structural engineer who I spoke with today, he said that the cargo ship in Baltimore never should have been where it was in the first place. This morning, our state is in shock. Maryland Governor Wes Moore searched for the appropriate words to describe the tragedy. The Francis Scott Key Bridge was built in the mid-1970s, and registered structural engineer Tracy Mitchell says the age of the bridge could be a factor in how much force it was able to absorb. We have bridges of all ages here in Cincinnati. The oldest is the suspension bridge, which was built in 1856. Some of the bridges in Cincinnati are, I think, much older. Even though they're older, sometimes older structures, they kind of like were very conservative, didn't have quite the engineering skills and the computer skills to try to be more economical in design. So some of the older bridges may actually be more robust or have a higher safety factor than more of the newer bridges. A coal barge struck the I-275 Carroll Lee Cropper Bridge in Boone County in 2020, but there was no damage to the bridge itself. The ship that hit the bridge in Baltimore was carrying a much heavier load. With a cargo ship that big, that large, all that weight, even though it's only going very, very slow, it, that, that mass, no bridge abutment, no bridge pier is ever going to be able to resist all that force moving forward. If this would have happened during rush hour, I mean, it could have been catastrophic. Now, Tracy Mitchell says the key to strength is maintaining and keeping an eye on the bridge, piers, and abutments, uh, especially those with concrete that is more than 100 years old, which, of course, we do have here in Cincinnati. Reporting live across the river in Covington, Mike Shell, Fox 19 now.